Hello friends, today I'm going to talk to you about how to write every day. In 2022, the average human has a lot on their plate. Productivity can be an elusive white whale, especially when it comes to creative productivity. Forcing inspiration and landing on your word count goal after a long nine to five or even longer day at the day job, it seems impossible. And honestly, that is exactly what my thinking was for most of my adult life. Before I joined the workforce, I felt like an unstoppable wizard of creativity. But once I set goals to become a functioning adult, the creativity took a backseat. Sure, I would dabble here and there, I would have side projects on the go, but I just didn't have the same sort of drive, and, and honestly, I didn't have the time. And what I told myself was that I was waiting on inspiration. But really, I was using that as an excuse, I think, to not actually take hold of inspiration and make it happen. Until one magical day, mid-pandemic, I decided to get back into writing regularly, no questions asked. I was in my 30s now, and once upon a time, I had a goal to be published at 18. So, setting, setting aside that little bit of self-resentment, I signed myself up for NaNoWriMo. National Novel Writing Month, more affectionately known by authors as NaNoWriMo, happens November of every year. The goal is to write 15,000 words within that month and ideally wind up with a complete first draft manuscript. If you've been on this channel for any amount of time, you've already heard me go on about this ad nauseum. One of the key aspects that makes NaNoWriMo so great is the community. By signing up, you instantly hold yourself accountable via your own profile and, if you like, within your own local NaNoWriMo chapter. The accountability is what scared me at first, but it also wound up being exactly what I needed. Writers are more commonly introverted than extroverted. Writing itself is a very inward-facing practice. Because of this, it can be really tough to take a step that brings community into the mix. Many creatives take years or decades getting comfortable sharing their work with others. And some are never truly comfortable. Whether it's fear of idea theft or fear of judgment, there are a lot of walls that we put up in front of our community. But community is not something to fear as an author. If you plan to publish, judgment is something you need to learn to accept. So it's best to get practice early on with fellow writers who understand your fear. And where idea theft is concerned, that's a topic for a whole other video, but I'll just say it's worth taking the risk to receive feedback and get your novel out into the world faster. If you divide 50,000 by 31 days, you get 1,612.9 words per day. Round that off to 1,600, and that's about what you should have in your head to write a 100-page first draft in one month. An average page is 500 words, so you're now looking at just over three pages a day. Not really so terrifying, right, when you, when you put it that way? But, I, I mean, when you're starting from zero, three can seem like a lot. But as with any other habit, all you need is practice. Completing NaNoWriMo gave me all the tools that I needed to continue a daily writing practice. When starting a new habit, it's commonly advised that you take 21 days to really lock it in. And so, NaNoWriMo provides the perfect opportunity to do this. Whether you choose to participate in official NaNoWriMo or just create your own personal challenge, I recommend starting by jumping in with both feet and then tailoring your preferences from there. NaNoWriMo is a great teacher because you don't even have to think about your goal. It's already set. But if you're just dipping your toe into daily writing, I'd start with a goal of 500 words per day, or one page of writing. Do this for 21 days, and then raise the bar from there. The most important step to writing every day is to write every day. <laughs> I know, you're probably rolling your eyes at that statement. 
And I did too when I would see that memed all over the place before I started really getting into writing every day. But I think you'll find as much as I did that simply sitting down at your desk in front of your laptop or your notebook will switch your brain over to where it needs to be. Don't fuss around about doing it. The longer you let your brain gnaw away on the prospect, the less likely you are to actually do it. Pick a time, sit down, and write. One of the biggest things that will halt your writing productivity is obsessing over what you're writing. I know many of us feel most comfortable editing as we go, but for your initial 21 days or month of writing every day, don't do this. Outline in preparation and just write. If you really want to read your writing back to yourself, only allow this once you have finished your writing goal for the day and only read what you wrote that day. It's okay to have mistakes in your first draft. That's what the editing process is for. Your goal with a first draft should simply be to get it done. Let's loop back to the introvert writer. Making yourself accountable is important when writing. If you don't have anything on the line, what's going to make you keep up that habit? Sure, a personal wish to is a start, but as humans, we're really good at finding other activities that we'd prefer to do and reasoning why we could or should be doing those instead. You're going to have to find some way to keep yourself accountable. And I have a, a couple suggestions. One, get a writing group. If you start this process during NaNoWriMo, you can join your local chapter. Alternately, you could join a Discord community. I myself have one linked in the description below, which offers writing support all year round. And my second suggestion is to ask your most reliable friend or relative to check in on you. Or if you don't want to rely on real life friends or family, announce what you're doing on social media and promise to update your followers every day. And if you really want to avoid social accountability, set a reward for yourself at the end of each week if you've been successful in writing every day. Pizza, anyone? If you're not having fun when you're writing, you shouldn't be writing. Does that mean you should be in a state of joy every time you sit down at your desk? Not at all. Many writers are miserable. But you should get some form of joy upon completion of each sentence you believe you've worded perfectly, each paragraph that came together simply, and each page that you've completed in full. If you are uncertain about whether you would even like to be a writer, writing every day is the best trial through fire you can give yourself to see if it's the right fit. Honestly, not everyone is cut out for being a novelist. Setting rewards can be used for both accountability and celebration. When you do well, always celebrate that. Don't get lost in the process. Enjoy it. If you take anything away from this little chat today, it should be way back to my second point, which was sit down and write. You can surround yourself with all the support and rewards in the world, but in the end, if those are your larger focus, your real goal is going to suffer. Use the tools that I have suggested to help in your writing, but always remember that writing is the priority. And that's a bit on how to write every day. I hope that this helps, even if it's just a little. Thank you, as always, for dropping by. Just a note that there will not be any sprints on YouTube tomorrow. I'm sorry, it seems like at this point I, we're doing them every second week. I have some more real life stuff to do. I'm preparing for a convention that is, uh, when you see this, I, I guess just about a month away, which is very exciting and horrifying. But I expect sprints will be back next Saturday. And as always, sprints are running on my Discord Wednesday and Thursday nights. So if you're looking for productivity sessions during the week off of YouTube, that's the place to be. Please remember to leave a comment and let me know what you thought about the video. What are your techniques for writing every day? How successful are you with it? Do like, subscribe, and hit the bell button so you actually get notified when I post new videos. And last but not least, I hope that you are having a day that is just as wonderful as you are. Bye.